1 Corinthians 6, 4 through 6. If then we, ye have judgments of things pertaining to this life, business disputes, when you have decided common quarrels, set them to judge who are least esteemed in the church. Appoint the most significant of your numbers as judges. Arbitration is least esteemed in the church. I already said that. Um, let's see this thing. No, who are of no account in the church. You can entrust jurisdiction to outsiders. He's kind of asking this ridiculously, really, sarcastically. So what he's saying is sarcasm. He's saying, do you really want to do it and put new people, new believers in charge of this? Do you want outsiders in charge of this? I don't think he's serious here. If he is, is in a way, okay, let them be responsible for and they'll be pushed for more. I don't think he's encouraging people new to the faith being the strong hand that decides matters. Paul used a lot of sarcasm in his letters. I speak to you, your shame. I say this desperately to rouse your sense of shame. He's bringing them to what they're truly doing to make them think, okay, I shouldn't be doing this. Is it to you, is it so that there are not a wise man among you? Are you really unable to find among you your number one man with enough sense? So he's saying, you're doing it this way. You should be finding somebody wise, which is he was being sarcastic in the early verse. Too many times we just go to people, our friends, rather than people equipped inside church. It's a tendency. It's not a good God-led tendency. No, not one that should be able to judge between his brethren, capable of deciding between man and his brother. Dispute. These disputes shouldn't happen, but when they do, it needs to be decided within the church. This is his point. Why would you go to somebody of the world to decide churchly matters? It ain't talking about legal things. It's talking about a dispute, an argument. Petty, something that if it would have been to court, it would have been, it wouldn't have been, uh, what do they call it? Lawsuit type crime thing. You'd have to sue the person, not dispute. But brother, go to the law with brother. No one Christian sues another. See, he's talking about suing. And that before the unbelievers. And so he's saying, first off, you shouldn't be doing this. Secondly, why are you going to the world to decide this? He's like, what has got into you? We need to try to handle things within the church. First of all, we shouldn't be suing it, brothers. But secondly, if we have disputes, we need to try to take care of it within the body. Because we don't need to look to the world for them matters. We need to look to God, look to each other, and carry past it.